Number one ranked Georgia closes out the SEC regular season today here in Knoxville against the five and four Tennessee Volunteers after losing to ranked opponents Florida, Ole Miss, and Alabama this season. Marta will see if he's got the mojo working as he uh, prepares to kick it away. Valus Jones, the deep receiver, 16 return kicks for the Tennessee transfer so far this season. Camarda's kick going to come down on the three and a half. Jones will take it across the 10, outside towards the numbers, far side of the field. He crosses the 20 and is stacked up around the 23-yard line. Tennessee ready to go and snap it again. Clap of the hands, snap the ball, play fake. Hooker in the pocket, deep ball. He's got a man breaking open, and oh, just out of the reach. They had him at the 35 of Georgia, Valus Jones. They bring the receivers in between the numbers and the hash on the near side. Snap to Hooker. He's going to run it to the near side. Got away from Quay Walker, 35, 40, and hit at the 41. Knocked the head to the 42 by Nakobe Dean. Center to hold the snap, and Tennessee fans booing. They don't like that. They want the speed. But Georgia had the right to sub. Play fake and a throw out the left flat. It's caught by Hyatt. He had a blocker in front of him, Peyton. Not much help there. Hyatt runs around him. Tennessee storming down the field at Georgia's 31. Deep ball now by Hooker for the end zone, and broken up and flags all over the place. That's going to be pass interference on Keeley Ringo. He just ran right through the receiver. A little fake quarterback. Pass interference. Defense. Number five. 50-yard penalty. Automatic first down. A little fake quarterback draw there by Hooker. Hooker in the shotgun. There's the snap. Going to give it off to the running back to the right. This time we swallow him whole. Jalen Wright, the freshman, tried to bounce out at right end. It's Tennessee trying to Change that here on third down. Hooker with the snap, play fake, throw it out to the right flat. It's caught stumbling at the six and into the end zone for the touchdown. Valus Jones in the far right front corner, got it in. Stetson Bennett, the quarterback, Zamir White in the backfield. We'll throw it out to the left flat. It's caught by Kiaris Jackson, 25, 30. He's got blockers, 35, 40. And he had Mitchell out in front and angles out of bounds on the far side into the Georgia sideline. And shoved out of bounds at the 41-yard line. That's a big scan of energy first down and a gain of 19 on the first play from scrimmage for the dog. McClendon and Jones, the tackles. James Cook in the backfield now. Bennett will look his way. Now roll out to the left. He wants to run. 45, 50. Cuts back the other way towards the hash marks. Gets the first down. And Stetson Bennett in Tennessee territory. He sure did. And we got away with one there. Tennessee brought corner fire. Stetson with his legs able to elude and get some yardage. Got 13 on that carry. Handed off to Cook as Georgia goes with tempo now. Moving towards the river, if you're familiar with this part of the country. Hand off Cook. Big hole left guard. Cook to the 30, 25, 20. Breaking towards the sideline. They won't catch him. James Cook with a touchdown. Or just a zone run right there and a great job by Schaefer and Cedric Van Pran opening up a huge hole. James Cook to the second level of that Tennessee defense without being touched, and then it was a foot race, and you're not catching him. As you said, see, that's how big that hole was. They didn't get a hand on him. All the way into the end zone, far corner, 39-yard touchdown run for Cook. Second two, Tennessee, and they will run it from their own 33 with Jabari Small. He angles to the left and right into Devontae Wyatt's waiting arms. No gain on the play for the Volunteers. No, they are going to give him oh, up to the 35-yard line. They gave him two yards, but it's third and less than a yard for the first down. Hooker's going to keep it. He play fake, pulled it out, kept it, and he didn't get back to the line. He didn't get the first down. Dean and Tyndall, the linebacker, Z, into the gaps to jam the quarterback back the other direction. Boy, and Hooker is feeling that one as well. He got popped by a couple of dogs. That was just a read option. He pulled it from the belly of his back and ran into a brick wall. There's the snap. Bennett drops back on the 22, and he will be sacked back at the 18-yard line. Matthew Butler, a senior lineman, just... Straight up the gut, right in his face. Whip with her front four. Lost eight, second down, 18. We will run it with McIntosh, but in the wrong direction. Warren Erickson couldn't get his blocker. Omari Thomas beat him, and Cook back in the backfield. Third and a long, long way. We throw it out to the left flat, a screen pass. Is caught out in the left flat by uh, Kiaris Jackson. 
He angles back towards the hash mark across the 25, up hit as he crosses the 30 by Aaron Beasley, the linebacker. Slot receiver there from Tennessee. Dogs did bring linebacker pressure there. Quick and ready to go again. Play fake and a quick throw to the right side. And they had two men in the area. Cedric Tillman jumped in front of perhaps the intended target and caught the football for Tennessee. Tennessee up to the line of scrimmage, ready to go from their own 44-yard line. Hooker in the shotgun. Play fake. Sack from behind. No, he got away from Wyatt. Now he's running. 45, 50, 47, 46. The ball came out. Picked up by Tennessee, and they try to advance it. Now there's flags down. They're throwing bean bags. <laughs> the officials are dumping everything out of their waistband they can to mark the spot. No flag on the play. The ruling is that there was a fumble recovered by the offense. First down. I think they're going to bring that back. It looked like Hooker was on the ground before that ball popped out. 41, he got six yards. Oh. Seen and Brini on the stop for Georgia. First and 10, Tennessee. Play fake again. Hooker looks down the middle, now throws it out wide to the right. It's caught at the 38. Georgia drives Cedric Tillman back across the 45, but forward progress to the 38. Darian Kendrick on the stop. Field. One receiver right, three to the left for Hooker. He'll throw it to the left to Keaton, makes the catch, cuts back towards the middle of the field across the logo, and they will spot it at the 43. It's third and 12, and Tennessee going quickly. Hooker to throw it again. Our defender fell down on the far sideline. Darion Kendrick wants a flag, and he gets it. Flag down at the 25, as it looked like Tillman may have pushed Kendrick to the turf. In his attempt to cover, we'll see. Georgia's coaches are down there to discuss with the officials. It may be defensive interference is what they're going to call. Pass interference. Defense, number 11. That penalty is declined. The result of the play, first down. Boy, I'll tell you what, Kendrick was in perfect position there. I haven't had a, seen a real good replay right now, but just without the replay, yeah. Probably a good call. Kendrick kind of got his feet tied up and was falling down, which created the interference. In the shotgun, calling the play. Jabari Small, the running back in the backfield with him. Shotgun snap. Play fake. He rides the back, throws it high into the end zone, threw it over the goal post, right over the crossbar, into the seats. Um, the 15 or so, just inside the 15, about a 25-yard try. There's the snap and the hold, and McGrath punches it up there good. And Tennessee regains the lead. It's 10 to 7. Third line, 27 and a half. We split the backfield with Cook and McIntosh now. Cook breaks out in the left flat. We hand it off to Kenny Mack. He angles to the left at left tackle and will be jammed up at the 30. Yeah, this speaker system here in Neyland Stadium, you can tell where they put some money because that's what makes it so loud. A little artificial noise always helps. We go empty set. Stetson Bennett back in the shotgun. Wide throw to the near side. Just missed his target, Lad McConkey. He was breaking open at the 35. Lad McConkey just ran a quick out right off the shoulder of A.D. Mitchell that was running a slant. It was open. It was a well-designed football play. That ball just high and outside. They have seven seconds remaining here in the quarter. They'll play fake and throw it out left to Valus Jones. Another screen out to the near side, and Jones makes the catch going low at the 25, and then everybody take a deep breath. we got three more quarters of this. Georgia trailing Tennessee as we go to the second 15 minutes. It's the Volunteers 10 and the Dogs 7. Back in a moment, Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network. From to go up top. Jordan Davis is back in in the interior line along with Wyatt. We bring the Kobe, and we blitz, and we fumble. They recover it in the air, however. I believe they plowed the play dead. Jalen Wright caught a ball that was bopped out of the hands of Hendon Hooker. We were sacking him, and the ball just came right out, popped up in the air. Tennessee loses a good about a yardage. It's third down and 19 now, back on the 16. They'll run it here with Wright swinging around to the left side towards the Georgia sideline. The dogs gobble that up. As we view it, Stetson Bennett back in the shotgun. Bring the tight end, Washington, in motion. Throw it out to Cook with a block from Washington. Cook makes the catch, 35-40 outside the numbers. They grab him up high and throw him to the grass at the 45. Good decision by Stetson just to throw that one away. He's got three men out to the right now, four with McIntosh. Bennett going to pull it down and run straight ahead. 50, breaks a tackle, 45, 44, 43, and maybe 
to the 42, depending on the spot. He broke the tackle of Trayvon Flowers, the safety, and then Banks, the linebacker, made the final hit, and they will spot it at the 42-yard line. Bennett with another run. Gets out to the open, nice little move, and picks up the first down. He got a dozen yards. Play fake. Bennett wants to roll to the right. Sets up all kind of time to throw. Finds the tight end. Bowers at the 39, near sideline, and pushed into the boundary. So we've got Schaefer and Jones on the left, and it's Truss and McClendon on the right. Van Pran the center will snap it back to Bennett. Here they come. Blitz pressure. Bennett going to backpedal and dump it off. He throws it incomplete. Zeus was over there. But the ball was closer to a lineman. Tennessee picked up the ball that clearly hit the turf. James Cook to his right. Two receivers right and two to the left. On the near hash, shotgun snap to Bennett. Time to set up, going to pull it away. Escapes pressure in the pocket. 25, 24, 23, hit from the left side and not to the turf. It's going to be short of the first down. Beasley, the linebacker, hit him. Podlesny will be right on the 30. Between the hash marks, kicking left to tie the game. 40-yard field goal try. Snap, hold, kick is away towards the uprights. And it is good! 40-yarder, Jack Podlesny has tied it with a 40-yard field goal. Hooker in the shotgun for Tennessee. First and 10 at the 25. Snap to Hooker. Going to ride the back, keep it, pull it out of the belly, and bounce around left side. He's going to be tackled by the linebacker, N'Kobe Dean. Second down and five is what they'll call it from the 30. Quick snap, Tennessee's quarterback looks left, throws a deep ball to the right far sideline, man-to-man coverage, and incomplete, out of bounds right around the 30, the 25-yard line or so. Tennessee, they get seven yards on the play. They're back and ready to go, play fake. Hooker will fire, near side, intercepted. Kendrick, Darian Kendrick intercepted it at the 45. He angles toward the middle of the field and is tackled at the 40-yard line. Ball comes out after that, but the official... Rules it dead at the Tennessee 40. He was trying to go to Valus Jones, and Darian Kendrick picked him off. We were sitting in single safety. We were just manned up on the outside. Hooker had a couple of routes underneath the coverage where we were, but that football sailed on, on Hooker a little bit right into the waiting arms of Kendrick. Here's your opportunity now for Georgia. Only the third interception thrown by Hooker this season to go with 22 touchdown passes. From Tennessee. Second and 10 from the Vols, 40. Zeus going to get the ball, tuck it in his arm. He had a little trouble with the exchange from Bennett. Georgia from the Tennessee, 38. We intercepted a ball, trying to do something with it. Cook's in the backfield with Bennett. Everybody in tight. Snap to Stetson. Sets up on the 48, surveys the field there. He's got a man crossing route between the uh, hash marks. That's Ladd McConkey going up high and coming down on the turf, falling to the grass at the 24-yard line. And that is a 14-yard completion and a first down. Georgia dogs up quickly from the Tennessee 24. Handed off to Cook. Breaks the tackle. 20, 25, cuts back at the 10. And they'll tackle him around the 10 and a half, maybe the 9-yard line. Kenny McIntosh, the lone setback. We bring receiver in motion to the near side. Play fake Bennett. He's going to change the direction of the play and get in the end zone for the touchdown. How about that for improvisation? Stetson Bennett. Play fake, roll out to the right. He had a big black shirt right in his face. He just tucked the ball, cut inside the defender, and goes nine yards for the touchdown. Stetson Bennett. Boy, it was a naked bootleg, and Stetson get, got out on the outside, didn't fool Tennessee at all. The only chance that Stetson had was to pull that football down, somehow elude two Tennessee defenders. Once he get, got past them, a nice cut to bounce that outside to find pay dirt. Hustles back to the line of scrimmage, ready to go. They set the ball and snap it again. And this time they will run. Hooker handing it off to Small, the running back. We've got him by the waist and are pulling him back. I think that was Walker. It was Trayvon Walker. Quickly, it's third down and four to go for the uh, Volunteers. Hooker to throw. And he airmails one on third down. He had Valus Jones open in the left flat at the 35. Checks into the ball game for the Dogs. On second down and seven, Bennett throws it to Mack out in the right flat. They set up a screen. Breaks one tackle at the 35. Four more yards up the hash. Three receivers in right to the left edge of the line of scrimmage. Everybody in tight for Georgia. Snap to Bennett. Not a lot of pressure. He throws and misses everything there. The receiver was knocked to the turf. Fitzpatrick, the tight end. Right on the hip of one of his big offensive linemen and then went. Got 11 yards. Play fake. Hooker goes for a deep ball. Far sideline. Man breaking open. Off his fingertips as he leaves his feet trying to make a diving catch. O'clock stops on the incomplete pass at 427 to go in the second quarter. Hooker 
quarterback draw. Not really working too well. He took the snap, pulled it down, just kind of dancing around in the pocket, trying to find a seam. There's not much there in the first half. Volunteers with the ball on their own 41. Hooker to pass, throws it high, tipped at the 50 by the dogs. N'Kobe Dean and lands incomplete, trying to go to Fant, the tight end on the far sideline, and now the dogs with another player on the turf shaking up. We talked about how difficult it was going to be early in this football game. Georgia on the 10, handoff. Cook straight up the gut. Nice 10 yard run, almost a full 10. Nine and a half straight up the hash by James Cook, tackled by Elante Taylor. A couple of first downs, they'll turn up the tempo. Dogs have a full allotment of timeouts. Give it to Cook again, straight up the gut again, and they're gashing again across the 20, up across the 25 into the 27 yard line. Thomas and Banks, a lineman and a linebacker, make the stop for the guys in the black jerseys. Two tight end formation. Bennett goes under center. Drops back, sets up, throws, deep ball, far sideline. Got a man breaking open. That's Bowers twisting and turning and reaching and catching. But he's out of bounds, says the official. He caught the football somehow. It'll be third down now, back at the 30-yard line, third down and seven for Georgia. Boy, what a catch of the football. It's an incomplete pass. They may look at that again. I think when he caught it, his foot was down. I mean, it's going to be close. I think what they're going to rule, though, his foot was down when it hit his hands initially. I think he bobbled it just a little bit as his foot came up. So I think this was, might be hard to overturn. After review, After review the ruling on the field stands. The pass is incomplete. Third down. From the far hash, moving to our left. Snap to Bennett. Waist high. Pulls it down. Fires on the run. Caught. Mitchell crossing route from the outside at the 41. Tennessee saying incomplete. Dogs up. Moving quickly up to the 41. On first down, they'll throw it. Mitchell again open, coming back to the ball at the 50. Breaks away from a man at the Tennessee 48 and picks up about 10 more down the sideline. Out of bounds at the 37-yard line. A nice run after catch. 22 yards on that play. Two nice catches by Mitchell. Bennett going to be sacked. Oh, he lost the football. Picked up by Cook. Did they blow it dead? Did he toss it? Was it a pass? It was a pass. That is a fantastic play by Stetson Bennett. The awareness had James Cook running underneath him and just tried to shovel it to him. Oh, wow. See, that's the gunslinger that I'm talking about. Second and 20 from the Tennessee 47. We shift McIntosh out of the backfield. Bennett takes the snap, pulls it down, will run. Now he throws at the last minute. Caught sliding on his knees. A.D. Mitchell at the 32 between the hash marks. And he got 15 yards on second and 20, making it third and five. Bennett, the snap, fires long throw left side. Diving catch back towards the 25. They give it to him. Tennessee set incomplete. There's Mitchell again. A.D. Mitchell is wearing out the Tennessee secondary on this possession. Dogs with the ball. First and 10 at the Tennessee 23-yard line. He's been the target on this possession for Stetson Bennett. Boy, just a phenomenal catch there, diving back to the football, able to cradle in his right arm. What a series for that young man. After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. First down. Mitch Cook breaks out wide to the right, goes in motion there. Empty set for the dogs. Shotgun snap to Stetson Bennett. Drops back, looks back for the far corner. James Cook, he's got it! Over the shoulder, touchdown! Cook from Bennett. Look at Stetson back on the other end, pumping his fist. Boy, it was a slant and go by James Cook. You don't see that from running backs. James Cook just broke away from his defender, Solon Page, the linebacker from Atlanta, and Bennett floated the ball in a perfect spot in the back right corner. And the Dogs with a 23-yard touchdown pass. Go up 23 to 10. Here's the point after try. Jack Podlesny kicks it away, and it is good. And moments ago, a 23-yard pass from Bennett to Cook. Here's Hooker ducking under pressure from the edges. Almost got a sack, and then he will go down. Robert Beal back in the ball game, and will get the sack on the second attempt. He ducked under the first defenders. The first wave came through, but then number 33 came in. After trailing 7 to nothing, they have stormed by the Vols and lead it by a score of 24 to 10 at the end of the first half. Does DJ have the coach yet or we got to wait on television and we'll send it down to Shock and the coach. DJ. All right coach, how does it feel you get a 90 hey, yard Jordan, 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 0 0, tell him 0 0. You get a 90 yard drive right there for half to go get 6. How big was that for the offense and for the team? 
Great plays, man. Stetson's making plays on third down, making good decisions with his feet. Can't throw the ball into coverage, but we've been able to we get the run game going. Defensively, they started, made it some plays, but you guys slowed them down. A bunch of three outs to the end this second half. What was the key to your, your defensive uh, stopping them there? Covering them better. You know, their, their tempo is so quick. you got to do a good job of getting back and getting lined up. All right, Coach, go get it in the second half. All right, back up to you, Scott. All right, Shock, thank you very much. Finish this ball game and still be aggressive on the offensive side of the ball. We'll start at the 30, Shock. A handoff goes to Zamir White, breaking tackles, running right up the hash mark. There's a flag down towards the Georgia second, or Georgia backfield, rather, as Zamir White crosses the 40 and fights for yardage oh, yards, but it's going to come uh, back. Uh, number seven is 10 yard penalty. Replay first down. They got the hold on our right tackle, Warren McClendon. One receiver to the left and two to his right. Going to hand it off to Zamir White. Zamir trying to angle behind the big tackle. We shift Cook into the backfield now with Bennett in a shotgun. Drops back, looks, looks, backing up. Now running to his left, being chased and sacked back on the 20. Young, the defensive end, a junior from Georgetown, South Carolina. Chased down Stetson Bennett, Valus Jones is the deep man to receive Camarda's kick. He'll have to go back 10 yards, 15 yards, 17 yards. He makes the catch back at the 17-yard line, and now he's returning it up the hash marks. He fumbled the football. It's bouncing at the 40, the 41. I think Tennessee got back on it. My goodness. Jones with a nice return. Had to retreat some 17 yards on the punt just to catch it. Hooker in the shotgun. Wings to each side, right and left. Play fake to small on the speed sweep. And Hooker will keep it and run straight up the hash mark right into Quay Walker's arms. Second down seven for Tennessee. They lateral it back to the near side. Double pass down the field. Could be intercepted. No, broken up instead at the Georgia 26. Lewis Seen with a nice play to come over and break it away from Jalen Hyatt right on the Tennessee sideline. Linebacker position. He was actually in coverage and trying to get into the face of the Tennessee Volunteer throwing the football there. Hooker with a play clock down to six. Now they send that receiver out to the numbers again. Hooker looks in that direction. Quick slant. Pass is caught at midfield by Tillman. And then he's hit. And they got a yard to the 40, 43, 44. Quickly, they're snapping it already. It's already spotted. And I look up, and the ball's in the air going to Keaton on the near sideline. Third down. For Tennessee, third down and seven to go. The ball's on the 38. Tennessee goes quickly. Flags are down all over the field. Deep ball to the far corner is broken up, batted away at the two by Georgia. Now another flag oh, comes in after that. There's no way they can call that pass interference. That was well defended in the secondary. And they may have caught us with too many guys on the field. They went fast, and we were right in the middle of substitutions. Kirby Smart's talking to one of the uh, officials at the 20-yard line out on the field. But we'll get word from James Carter. Play, both by the defense. Yeah. Illegal substitution, more than 11 players in the formation. That penalty is declined. Pass interference, defense, number 29. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. So they call the interference on Christopher Smith, and he was hit on the far side. Did Ringo make that tackle? It was uh, Dan Jackson that made the tackle. Tennessee goes quickly. Another quick snap, and Hooker launches one to the end zone and overthrows everybody out of the right corner of the end zone. Incomplete. Bulldog 19-yard line. Snap to Hooker. Handoff small. Bounces out right, and the dogs will get him with Seen and Wyatt. Devontae Wyatt with great pursuit down the line. Fourth down and four yards to go. 44% on their fourth down tries. They snap it to Hooker. He's rolling to the left. We're chasing. He will launch it towards the end zone. Incomplete. Nobody there. He threw it in the tunnel, I think. That's almost like he forgot what down it was oh and just goodness. threw it away on fourth down. Hello, Reggie Ball. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Robert Beal, not Reggie Ball. Beal in pursuit. Our own 17-yard line. We lead it 24-10. to 10. Snap to Bennett in the shotgun, handoff Cook. Big hole right up the middle between the guards, and Cook hits it immediately up to the 25 and tackled by Aaron Beasley, the linebacker. The Bulldogs 25-yard line, second down and a couple. Give it to Cook again, bounces out, 25, 30, got the first down and more, sideline. Did he step out of bounds? Yeah, they whistle it dead right around the 
35 yard line. Boy, he was cutting back, changing directions, and ready to go for a long one. But he got the scan of energy first down up at the 35 yard line as we pause 10 seconds station ID on the Bulldog Sports Network. George on the 35. Kenny McIntosh in the ball game now is going to get a carry. Bounces out left behind the block of trust. 40, 45, running up the midfield. He had another blocker in front of him. That was A.D. Mitchell, and McIntosh just ran right up everybody's back. And here in the third quarter, we're right on the 50. Shotgun snap to Bennett. Play fake. He's going to keep it. Bennett breaks out to the left, stiff arms a man, and drags him three yards. He got 10 on the run to the Tennessee 40 and drug the defender the last three. How about that? That's a scan of energy first down for Stetson. The tight end Bowers is off to the right as well. Snap to Stetson. Drops back on the 49. Looks, looks, pumps. Now pulls it down. Now being chased. Rolls out of the pocket near side. Way back on the 40. They're grabbing, and he will just throw it, and that's going to be grounding. There were two fouls in the play, one by each team. Personal foul, force foul tackle against the defense. Intentional grounding on the 13 offense. Those penalties offset. Replay third down. And two to the right, and James Cook to his right. Shotgun snap to Stetson, the senior from Blackshear. Fires a bullet, caught at the 26-yard line. Brock Bowers facing back at the line of scrimmage, caught the ball in his belly, went right to the turf, tackled by Flowers in the secondary, but all the way down to the 26-yard line, 14-yard pickup, and a big first down for the Dogs. Now we'll run it with Cook. He's breaking tackles at the 26-yard line, but uh, they hang on just enough to the legs. Easy, really, throw for Stetson Bennett because of the shield. Kenny McIntosh in the backfield now. They pitch it to Cook on a speed sweep to the near side. Cook, 20. Cook, 18, 17. Bumped out of bounds near the first down marker at the 16-yard line. I think he got the first down. Right hand on the leather. Getting ready to snap it. Pitches it or snaps it back to Bennett. He pitches it to White on the right side. A little toss sweep for Zeus, who backpedals his way down to the 10-yard line. He had two black shirts hanging on him. Taylor finally gets him down at the 9-yard line, a 5-yard run by Zeus. Van Pran snaps back to Bennett, sets up on the 15, throws it into the end zone, incomplete. He had Fitzpatrick there, and he had Bowers in the vicinity, all of that under the goal post. 27-yard try, jackpot Lesney, right-footed kicker, kicking from the right, the near hash to our right, and the kick is away, and the kick is good as the dogs convert. We still got a receiver right and left. Hooker's going to take the snap and uh, run it himself, working for room out of the right edge, dodging a couple of tacklers. He got away from Zion Logue and then got a few more yards before he's hit at the 43-yard line by Trayvon Walker, the junior lineman third and one, maybe a little less than that. Snap it to Hooker. He hops around the back. Oh, N'Kobe Dean comes around the corner and sacks him back at the 45-yard line. That'll take care of third and one and make it fourth and five. Hooker kind of danced around a little bit, and Nolan Smith shot out of a cannon right into his back. Let's check in with Shock on the sidelines. Cook's Pest Control Report. DJ. All right, fellas, quickly, Jalen Carter, we talked about earlier, he is now out of the game. So no Jalen Carter. For the rest of this ball game, their back moved early. I don't see a flag. Hooker will throw. It's caught by Tillman at the 36-yard line. Second down quickly and six for Tennessee. Hooker's looking to his left. Now he looks too long. He's going to be dropped from behind by Channing Tyndall, who came in from Hooker's right as Hooker was looking to the left and shifting that way. And the Georgia linebacker sacks Hooker back on the 40-yard line. Fourth sack of the ball game for the Dogs now. Hooker's got Small in the backfield with him, and two receivers to the right and one to the left. Hooker stands in the pocket, bounces, throws it down the hash, and incomplete at the Georgia 28-yard line. Ringo in tight coverage. They were trying to go it to Ramil uh, Keaton. Georgia Tech 31-30, and that's in the fourth quarter, I believe, in Boston. Here's Hooker dodging under a tackle by Nolan Smith, who almost had a sack back at the 45. And Channing Tyndall's going to get him now as he leaks out of the pocket to the left. And Hooker's going to go down at the 40. Drops back in the shotgun, shifts McIntosh from left to right. And fakes the handoff to Mack. Bennett's going to keep it and run. 50 slides, feet first at the 45 of Tennessee. Gets the scan of energy first down and safe at the 45-yard line. Stetson Bennett 
out of Pierce County in Blackshear, Georgia, with a terrific fake, and the defense really followed McIntosh into the hole, and then Bennett was wide open around the left edge. They'll change directions and drive to our left now. Shotgun snap to Bennett, hand it to Kenny McIntosh. Bounces out to the left, finds the hole, and down the field he goes inside the 45, down to about the 41-yard line. Banks, the linebacker, had to make the tackle. Empty set for the dogs. Snap to Bennett in the shotgun. Stetson, quick throw, tight end, grabs it. Big mitts up there at the 35. Tarnell Washington, boy, he just snatched that thing right out of the air. And three guys tackle him, led by Banks at the Tennessee 33. Our offensive line is pointing. Now we're going to pull it down and fake a handoff, and Bennett will throw. Caught by Jermaine Burton between the hashes at the 21. They move the pile, drive it inside the 15, down close to the 10-yard line. Boy, those linemen love that, and so does Jermaine Burton. Boy, they got up stomping. You were right. They loved that. Eight yards the pile moved. It's first and 10 at the Tennessee 12 with Zamir, the fullback, and Cook, the tailback. Three tight ends in this formation, two to the right, one to the left. Toss it to Cook. Cook to the five, to the three, to the one, into the corner of the end zone, just inside the pylon for the touchdown and maybe the dagger. Great afternoon. I think that puts them over the century mark as well. And the dogs expand the lead. Cook with a five-yard run puts him over 100 for the night at 104. That ties him for a career high to learn more. Tennessee ball on the 25. Hooker with a play fake and a throw. There's a slant breaking away at the 35. A lot of running room. Is Tillman all the way into Georgia territory and finally out of bounds. Get down from the dogs 19. Hooker fakes the pass to the right, pulls it down, now runs to the left. And we run faster than he does, Quay Walker. What pursuit down the line of scrimmage to drop Hooker for a loss and a sack back at the 22 and a half, maybe the 23. Four down linemen for the Dogs on third down for Tennessee. They snap it to Hooker, he's gonna run to the right. Looks like he wants to throw, now he does. Lofts it into the end zone and out of the end zone over the back line and into the corner. Darian Kendrick running toe to toe with Cedric Tillman until they ran out of space. and Maybe he turns it up and runs. He ran out of options when he decided to throw it, just threw it away. He'll throw this one here. It's caught by Valus Jones at the Georgia 12-yard line, far side of the field, shoved into the boundary by Lewis Seen at 11, maybe 12 on the play. Quick snap now to Hooker. He fakes the run, throws it. Oh, almost picked off by Quay Walker. He threw it down the hash. Trying to get it to the tight end, Warren. 10 from the Georgie 11. Farhash moving right, snap it to Hooker. He's looking to run all the way. And he will duck his head in there at left tackle. Still driving, Georgia clogged him up around the nine, but he was still moving to his left. They couldn't get him on the ground. And finally, they do at the seven. And Georgia has a player shaken up at the end of that play. Tennessee up over the football. They snap it to Hooker. Drops back on the 15, rolls to the right, pressure coming, and a sack! Oh, ball is out! Ball is out! Picked up on the sideline by Georgia's Trayvon Walker. And they threw the beanbag down. They let the play extend. Oh, they'll more than likely have to review that. They have said it's a fumble in Georgia's football. The dogs only rushed three there. Channing Tindall came on a late blitz and just closed the gap on Hooker immediately. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Fumble recovered by the defense. First down, Georgia. 34 to 10, 10.45 to go in the game. Zeus is in the contest. He'll get the ball. Big hole, left tackle. Ducks his shoulders and drives across the 30 up to the 40. And still going to the 41-yard line. Van Pran and Schaefer blocks on the left side for Samir White. He broke away from Kamal Hatton in the secondary. And then Flowers made the stop. Zamir, the lone setback. Everybody in tight. One receiver left. Handoff from Bennett to White. Running shoulder to shoulder with Jordan Schaefer. And they just move the Tennessee defense all the way to the 48-yard line. Zeus plowing along with Schaefer, the left guard. Fans in red and black right now. You can hear him just, Zeus, Zeus. Snap to Bennett. Give it to Zeus. Big hole right side. Bounces out behind the block of McConkie into Tennessee territory. And stopped at the 43-yard line. Block as well by Darnell Washington. Kenny McIntosh. They run a pitch to Brock Bowers on the reverse. Bowers, 40, 35, 30. Fights a man at the 27. Still on his feet down inside the 20. 
like a runaway locomotive right there on the little pitch reverse. Brock Bowers, one, he's got tremendous speed. Somebody tried to square him up. They'll never do that again. <laughs> Marcus Rosenby, Jack Saint with a block on the left edge for Bowers as well. Bennett in the shotgun. First and 10 at the 19. Give it to Kenny Mack. Splits the D. 10, 5, tight rope. Ah, out of bounds where? Right on the five yard line. First and goal at the five. Dogs trying to jam another one in. They're on the doorstep of doing just that. McIntosh starts straight, bounces out left. Driving, does he break the plane? Yeah, he did it. Broke the plane left of the near hash and got in the four. Another touchdown for the dogs. Boy, what a drive by the offensive line of the Georgia Bulldogs. Just took this game over in the second half. Justin Schaefer enjoyed that as much as the backs in the backfield. So it's first and 15 back at the 20. Milton pass batted up in the air by Walthour. Batted away, backs it lands back at the five. Milton will throw it. This time he does complete it at the 20. Darion Kendrick eats Jones alive though and just twists him down to the turf at the 19. He lost another yard. In the shotgun, there's the snap. Drops back, deep ball. Down the near sideline and leaping in the air and making the grab is Tillman in front of Darian Kendrick. Line. Milton in at quarterback now replacing Hooker. Play fake and a throw into the end zone. Oh, almost picked off a yard deep in the end zone in the front right corner by Lewis Seen trying to go to Cedric Tillman. Good job slowing the runner down. Second and nine Tennessee from the 15. Quarterback draw, nowhere to go. I'm confused. At the 12, they snap it. And Milton will throw it across his body into the far corner of the end zone, incomplete. And there's a flag down back at the 18-yard line. That's going to be a hole. Joe Milton, the quarterback, trying to punch Tennessee into the end zone. Defense trying to keep him out. Snap, Milton throws it into the end zone. And caught, leaping in the air about two yards deep. Cedric Tillman. Georgia's. Leading here in Knoxville. Snap to Milton. Pressure up the middle, and they'll sack Milton back at the 38, 39-yard line. Just straight up the gut with Chaz Chambliss and Warren Brinson and Zion Logue. Chambliss, I think, was the first guy to get there. He'll get the sixth sack of the night in shades of Clemson from the season opener, and that's going to be the last play of the game. The Dogs have Charleston Southern next week and then Georgia Tech Thanksgiving weekend in Atlanta. Big night for the dogs. We win it on the road for the fifth straight time of the series over Tennessee. The final score tonight, Georgia 41, Volunteers 17. Stay tuned for our post-game coverage. Neil Williamson standing by as we return to Knoxville and Neyland Stadium right after this on the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network.